gotta tell you, it's like they've been a team for years. by both of them, the agility, they're really, you can't judge a book by its cover, and you can't really fucking have a plan when it comes to facing these guys, because whatever your plan is, it all changes the moment Shane Mercer throws you across the venue. I saw a couple of SUVs out the side door that maybe Shane Mercer can grab and toss onto somebody. He feels like it. But now talk about competition. Two guys that work great together and didn't just get together as a team. They're on your screen right now. Zachary Wentz, Desmond Xavier, absolutely outstanding. Some say high as fuck, CBD infused, THC infused, CBN infused. They've got all the C-related products or enzymes, whatever the fuck they are, they bring back. The team just gave them the number. They assigned them the number 420 it's on their jersey, their jackets, their player and number. Their, their official license number. Yes. And they, they just happen to like the color green. If you could roll up all the success that Desmond Xavier and Zachary Wentz have had inside of a blunt wrap, you would have both the stickiest of the icky and the most potent chronic blends currently available here in the great state of Indiana. Tag team action, folks. Match number two here at Joey Janela's Spring Break for two very different teams in all seriousness. You've got the high-flying youngsters in the Rascals who are a very well-established tag team. They've been successful everywhere they've been in the United States. And then a very new team of two very gifted singles competitors who are Whoa. just trying to find themselves as a duo. It's going to be interesting to watch. Absolutely, and we'll see what that raw power of Iron Beast can do against the amazing fluid movements of the Rascals. Some teamwork here from the Rascals in the early going. Bronco Buster, shout out to the homie Sean Waltman, who may or may not be watching at home. Damn! Unfortunate situation for KTB. Yeah. <laughs> KTB feeling that one. I can't tell if it got him in his beast maker or up high on the thigh muscle. Them out on the board on the Rascal Stereo Topes. Sending Team Iron Beast down into that front row ringside. Zachary Wentz and Desmond Xavier took some time out of the treehouse to do battle. And right now they're having it, making it look easy with these two behemoths in KTB and Shane Mercer. So at some point, Iron Beasts are going to get their clutches on the Rascals, and then it becomes a much different situation. How do the Rascals respond? And oh, it is right on cue. Just K with ease, throwing him at his partner. KTB just caught him, made it look easy, and now here we go. Beast mode. Iron Beast mode. KTB was one of the most powerful and agile wrestlers in Game Changer Wrestling, and that's before he got on his wood space oh, oh. training regimen. KTB is an all-new competitor. Did you see that? He launched him with an overhead belly-to-belly -belly suplex into his partner who was hung up in the tree of Joey Whoa. And made it look easy. Going for the doors, KTB and Shane Mercer. Not wasting any time. How many do we have underneath the ring for this entire show? At least 30? I think they replenish. They it's replenish? Like, wow. like mushroom spores. They just kind of continue to populate in the dark, damp region. <laughs> we are table breeders. Door breeders. Oh, Xavier with a drop kick through the ropes on oh. KTB. And Sigouri right to the back of the head of the Iron Demon. Put a stop to that door nonsense. Oh, oh, God. Oh. Super kick. Beyond a super kick by Zachary Wentz. Went so damn fucking talented. Again, in the clutches. Every time you leave your feet against this team, you are putting yourself in danger. I can't believe what we're seeing, guys. 
unbelievable demonstrations of power and synchronized teamwork. Like, I'd just stay on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Xavier's doing exactly that. Thought about coming into the ring to help Zachary, but thought better of it. Kick out there at two. How many different ways can I suplex you into my partner's arms, and then he's going to destroy you with something like a power bomb again? You just lose all sense of where you are with that upside down rotation, and then suddenly you're caught again and just driven almost through the ring. I want to see six more variations of that. I'm sure you're though. getting at least between three and five minimum. <laughs> well, there's a tag to Mercer, and you may see another one right here. Now they're just putting the boots to Wentz in the corner. Xavier, oh, has had enough. All four men in the ring now. Xavier just clobbered KTB in the back of the dome. Didn't do much damage to them, though. As right oh. now, some more teamwork from Iron Beast. Teamwork makes the dream work. Shane Mercer! Oh, Desmond Xavier's on dream street right here after that. I've never seen someone turned outside in with a oh. clothesline. Tribute to Mr. Fuji. Are you kidding me, KTB? <laughs> <laughs> that was tremendous. Unreal. Unreal. Wentz unloading with the chops on both of his opponents at the same time. Wentz is just so gifted. But right now he's being lifted and not in the way he's used to. Oh. God damn it! Gut buster out of the shoulder of KTB. Release suplex from Mercer. B salt. Nailed it. Cover. One, two, go! Oh. Oh. Still able to get the shoulder up somehow after all of that offense. The Beast KTB getting frustrated. I can understand why. Zachary Wentz, as I was saying earlier, so damn tough. Not just a master of all the flying, but with the MMA background. And, and he, he can just get you in so many ways when you least expect it. Shane Mercer, one of those unsung heroes of the Kentuckiana region, and it was finally Game Changer Wrestling who gave him a spot to shine. And Mercer was a guy who was very close to hanging it up. He had said recently that you know, this year was going to be it for him, and then COVID happened, and he started kind of reevaluating where he was. And I think this team now, with him and KTV, has reinvigorated him and given him a purpose here in wrestling. Absolutely. And post COVID, I could see these guys doing a lot of business in Japan. Did you see that? Momentum from the head scissors sent him into his own partner. This is an opportunity for Wentz to make a tag if he can get to his partner as Xavier has his hand stretched out, waiting for the tag if it can be made. Makes there it, it is. Xavier in quick as a cat. Beast just absorbing those shots. I thought it was gonna be a cutter there. God damn it. Double stomp right on the back of the neck. KTB forward and here comes Xavier again. Oh! Momentum on that uppercut. Kicked his lights out. That's it. You saw that one wrapped right around his head, kicked him just above the eye. Desmond, Xavier, how can you predict what he's going to do? Cover broken up by Mercer with a waist lock. Just showing off some more strength because he can. Just picking him up like he was Marco Stunt's emotional support animal. But Marco Stunt's animal has a convenient handle at least. There's no handle on the Rascals. Rascals corner to corner, working over both of their opponents. Great teamwork, great speed. The Rascals are tag team wrestling personified. Both members of Iron Beast out to the floor. And the Rascals, what's a creative way we can get to the floor right now? I've got an idea. Wait a minute. But they get caught. Holy shit. Both guys getting pressed up high. Iron Beast showing you what they're made of. Come on! Oh, God! Throwing them together before they crash on that concrete floor. Super Collider on the outside. And I, I made the point a little earlier. Every time the Rascals leave their feet, they are putting themselves in potentially dangerous situations, and we just saw it again right there. A hundred percent. Rascals are used to those high impact maneuvers just taking their opponents down. Oh no, it's doomsday. Oh my god, literally. He oh, avoids, avoids it. There's a counter for the doomsday device? Yep, we just saw it, finally. There's no counter for that. Again, they leave their feet, they get caught time after time. What? Oh, come on. No. Oh my god. You've got to be kidding me, cover. One, two, 
super kick saves the day. I mean, how do these guys think of this stuff? Just give me a little bit of an assist. Well, it's one thing to think of it. I'll do a moonsault power slam, you know, yeah, it's usual. One thing, it's one thing to sit in your house and say, you know what, this would be a cool move to do. <laughs> How do you get in the ring at 250 pounds and do it? Yeah, <laughs> that's a question for, like, molecular biologists and physicists. But I agree with the crowd here. This is awesome. This is Joey Janela's spring break. Iron Beast versus the Rascals. Rascals working over KTB right now. Double stomp across the back. That's what teamwork. KTB powders out. And now it's back to the Iron Demon Mercer caught in that rear waist lock. Those reach around kicks are devastating. You can't see them coming and they'll put your lights right out. Rascals, big fan of the reach around. In Cover. a whole different way. Only two. Wentz almost had him, and that's the only way you're going to beat these guys if you can is to separate them. And now, like pieces of mercury that are separated, Iron Demon and KTB slowly reforming as one on the outside. Well, I don't think Desmond Xavier realizes they have a table. Well, he does oh, now. God damn it. Excuse me, a door. Head first into it. He did not realize it until it was too late. He's not going to realize it now either. No. He's not going to remember anything that, that happened Look today. at that. His head made that imprint in the door. Desmond Xavier sized hole in that door. And now his back. Desmond Xavier is done. Oh. God damn it. Right in the throat with the super kick on purpose. Perfect Wentz placement. Off the second. Oh. Oh, that slight delay cost Wentz right there. Powerbomb from KTV into the arms of Mercer. One, two, three. Big win for the Iron Beast. They pass Zachary Wentz like a blunt, and then they put him out on the mat. Strong showing, strong victory. Well, this is a team that's just going to continue to get better and better every time out. Not, not somebody you're going to want to face down the line as they continue to gel and get better as a team. Absolutely incredible showing. It's been a very short time. Really, it seems like a matter of several weeks that these guys have come together. But in that time, they have left a path of destruction everywhere that they go. And where is it going to be next when COVID is over? I can see Japan. I can see Mexico. I can see...